Hi everyone, in this video, I will show you how to write the first C++ programming language program. Okay, so for the first sessions, uh, you need to have uh, your editor, download your editor before you can write your C++ code. So there are several editors actually that you can use like a Bolin C++ and also a Dev C++. Okay, so in this case, I will be using a Dev C++ code. Uh, DEV C++ 5.11 so you can just uh, google uh, on the uh, internet and find this dev C++ and download it okay and you just can follow the instruction for installations okay uh, and after you complete the program you can, you can open and it is ready to be used okay so how to write your first code Okay, in order to start to write your code, you need to open the file. So this is the editor part for you to write your code. So the first is to click on new on the uh, underneath the file menu, uh, new, click new, then source file. So this will be the source file for your C++ code. So click that and your uh, terminal, your editor here will be activated for you to write your code. Okay. Now you want to write your first C++ code. Uh, the important here is just that how to write your code. Okay, in this video, I will show you how to write your code to compile and to run. Okay, so that is the important uh, part, uh, the important lesson for this lab. So how to write your first programming code? First, normally, if you want to write a program, always start with a description which is called a comment here. Okay, double slash here means comment. So means that only programmer, is it is only useful for the program itself. So that when when uh, when later, if you want to come back to see this code, we, want, we, we can remember uh, what this program is all about. So this is just a description. Okay, let's say uh, you just write my first C++ program. Okay, now if you want to, now is the to write your C++ code, you need to have uh, a library. Okay, in this case, I want to dis I want this program to be able to display a hello world words words hello world. I want to print the word on the screen. Okay, on the screen. So how? So in order to do that, uh, I, I need a keyword called C out. C out is used to print words to the screen. Okay, because I need to use a C out, I need to include a library or package called IOStream. So I need to start with include IOStream. IOStream is include, you need to include IOStream when you want to use a C out and a C in. Yeah, good. So start with your program, you need an uh, man, man function, integer man. Okay. Curly bracket. Okay, now. okay, so you have your main, uh, main program here, integer main. So all your code must be inside this curly bracket. Must be inside this curly bracket. Okay, so let's say we start with the first one. We want to print hello world or good morning on the screen. So just write standard. This is the keyword. This is the syntax that you need to follow to do the C out. Okay. So this is the syntax. So what you want to write must be in quote, double quote. Yeah, C out, hello world. Okay, must be in, uh, must be within the double quote. Hello world will print exactly at is it is in that quote. Okay, so if you put uh, in the in double quote hello world, so that will be displayed on your screen exactly. So, for each of the sentence, must be end with a semicolon here, dot and the comma. Each of the sentence inside the code, the programming here, must be end with semicolon. Okay, to end your program, you must write return 0. Okay, so this is the end of your code. So, no code, no other uh, coding, no other statement uh, can be written after written zero so written zero must be the last one before the semicolon the end the, eh, not semicolon the curly bracket okay now you have done you have write your program the simple program now i want to see the result so how 
First, before you can see the result, you need to compile. Compile means that you need to check whether there is a syntax error or not. Okay, if if a normal uh, like an English English language, uh, you want to see whether uh, the language the sentence that you write contain a grammatical error or not. Okay, same thing with the programming language. They also have something like that. So we call it syntax error. Whether there is a syntax error in the form of structure or not. Okay. So compile here. If you see on the menu, there is compile here. There is a, a four a rectangle dot colorful rectangle over there. Or you can press F9. Okay, click compile. Okay, now you haven't because you haven't saved your file. They will ask you to save your file first. Just put the left one introduction. Okay, save. All right. Okay, see the compilation result is underneath here. Error zero, warning zero. Now you can run. Run is next to the compile. Run F10. Okay, click run. So here is the result. On your terminal, it right here, hello world. Okay, that is the result. Okay, so this program is only to display uh, the output to the screen. What if I want to have an input means that I want user to key in something on my keyboard and I process it. Like in the ATM machine, you ask uh, the ATM will ask the user to enter a pin number and uh, it will, will accept the pin number. Uh, on your program uh, and then they can do authentications okay so in this case we cannot do authentication yet because we don't have a database but the simple one is you can ask user we want to write a program that asks user to enter a number and we want to display it back on the screen what user have entered just now okay uh, you, you can uh, continue from this one okay just add it from this one or you can have a new source file Okay, it's up to you. You can create a new source file for a new program. But in this case, I just want to uh, edit this one. For example, uh, print number entered by user. Okay, I want to create this program. Okay, now is I want to ask user to enter a number. Then user will enter a number from the keyboard and I will display it back. So there are three processes there. Okay, so before that, if you see in the code, I have a std double colon there. It, uh, if you want to remove that, means that you want you don't want to do it repetitively. So you can do a using namespace. Okay, std. So you don't have to do it uh, again and again. Okay, just remove that. So you can just have c out. Okay, so the first c out is uh, I want to ask a user to enter a number. Please enter a number. Okay, it's just like in the ATM machine, you are asked to enter a PIN number. So this C out is just like it's just a message to tell the user what you have to do, what you need to do. Okay. Then I need to receive an input from the program. The program need to uh, receive an input from the user from the keyboard. So I need to use C in. C in is to receive. Okay, see in. Okay, then you check uh, the the arrow there. See in arrow and see out arrow is opposite. Okay, don't confuse with that. Yeah, it's opposite. This is see out. This is see in. Okay, it's opposite. Okay, what you want to see in? When we enter a number, when we receive an input, the program insists receive an input from the keyboard. The input need to be saved in the memory first before it can be processed. Okay, so when you want to process that uh, input, you need to save it in certain location inside your memory. So how the program, how, how the program will know actually this number is entered for this program. So you need to give the name, location name for the number to be saved, to be stored. Okay, so I need to create a variables. Okay, variables here means that is the location name where I can store the number that will be entered by the user later on. Okay. So how to give the variable name? Variable name, you can give any name to the variables. But normally, we'll give a name that is meaningful. Okay. In this case, I want to enter a number. I can give the variable name number or num. Okay. As long as the variable name 
does not contain a space. It, it cannot be two words. It must be one word. Okay, no space. And cannot start with a number. Cannot start with digit. That is the rules for naming uh, variables. Okay. In this case, I just want to give na name uh, the variable name now. Okay. Okay. Next one. When you have a variable, you need to declare that variable. Declare means we want to know that variable is of what type. Okay, because input can have many types. It can be number, it can be, uh, be uh, alphabet. So what is it? So in this case, it's number. So if it's number, the data type is integer, int. Okay, there are various uh, data type. We have int, we have double. Double is a floating point number. Float, float is also floating point number yeah, with uh, smaller decimal places. Okay, you have a char. Char is for alphabet. In this case, it's number. I just uh, want uh, a whole number, yeah, a whole number. So I just use integer, no, and end it with semicolon. Don't forget that. Okay. Now I already asked for a user to enter a number. Next is I want to print it back. Okay. So I put C out. What I want to do is you, you have entered. What is it? So you have to tell. No. This is, it will take you. So here it will display back what have been entered by the user here. Okay. Now we will compile this program. Okay. No errors. No warning. You can run. See, please enter a number. So just type any number like a 6. 6. Enter. So you have entered 6. Okay. So this is uh, this program have input and output. Okay, what if I want to do more? I want to extend this program so that it can do some processing. Let's say I want to add that a two number. Okay. Okay, now you want to add two numbers means that you have more uh, processing here, which is additions, and but you have two input number one and number two. Okay, so let's. Let's change this one, um, become a addition, adding, adding two numbers. Okay. Okay, now what, what will be the, the variables here? You need a uh, process here. Input, you have, uh, what is the, 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 in the programming, you need three, three uh, components. Input, process, output. Input, in this case, will be two numbers, number one, number two. Process. Process will be the addition. Okay. Number one. Add number two. And the output will be the result of the addition. So there are three. Okay. So first, you need to declare variables. Variables. Declarations. What are the variables that you're going to have? I need two numbers. Number one. Comma, number two as well as result. You need to store the result as well before you can display it back. Okay. Alright. And then, I need to enter a number, two number. Okay, so please enter first number. First number. Okay, so what is the input here is num1. Copy it back. Copy this one. I want to enter second number. Please enter second number. Okay, so the variable here is num2. Now, uh, you already asked the user to enter a number. Next one is processing. Okay, that here is a, just now is a input. User input, yeah. Okay. Next one is processing. What processing do is result equals to num1 plus num2. Okay, so this is a process so that they will count what is the addition between those two numbers. Next is the output. So what will be the output is C out the sum of the two numbers is 
what what you want to write here is it num1 is it num2 or result okay if you put the num1 it will display the number that you have entered just now the first number if you put num2 it will display uh, the result the, the the number that you key in as a second number so in this case i want the result the additions so i put there result so what is result result is actually number one plus num2 okay now we want to compile okay no errors no warning so run the program so please enter first number i put number six there enter please enter second number i enter number five enter so the sum of the two numbers is 11. okay so that is how you write the programming language the basic here is you need to know uh, the input what is the input of the problem second is the process what are the processing is it the calculations is it of something else is it a checking validations and then what will be the output so there are three important component or element when you want to write a program so this is the basic one the fundamental okay so i hope you could understand and create your own uh, first program after this thank you very much